Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part 7 of the build of the LEGO Movie 2 Welcome to Apocalypseburg. This is how far we made it in 6 parts. Um, we're moving on to bag number 7. 7 of 18. That's right, there's 18 total bags. If you missed any of the parts, check out the links I have down below. I'll have links to all the, the parts. But we're going to continue on building with this. We're not really going to get into any of the details of the previous stuff because hopefully you've watched all the videos and you're caught up. So this is Batman. Of course it's Batman in his apocalyptic gear. Um, he has a slightly different cape because it is torn and tattered. You can see all the, the there's even a hole in it. Um, and then it's got this big shoulder armor piece that actually has some molded um, rubber tire pieces in it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, the typical double-faced head. And then you put the mask on it. Which once the mask is on, you, of course you can't really see the, the expression. You just kind of barely see the mouth. He does have a batarang, so I'll go ahead and pop that in his hand. So there you go, that's Batman. So we'll move him to the side. Actually, I'll put him right here with all the other minifigures. So you can see a little collection of the figures going on right there. All right, so moving on to the continuation of the build. Let's see, let me orient the model, how they show it in the book, which is basically like this. So we're going to keep adding on stuff to the top of this. So what we have here is this 2x2 two two brick with a taller 2x2 two two brick and then a 2x2 two two plate. So that little combination, I need to make four of those. There's two. and the last one right here okay definitely in this but you can kind of see the parts back here but definitely in this um, portion of the build we're definitely getting into a lot of the the sand green color um, tends to be a popular color with a lot of fans of Lego I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of that particular color but I know a lot of people drool over that color but it's the same color that was in the Lego architecture Statue of Liberty set so um, if you have that set you already have a lot of this color part Put a few of these Technic bricks on top of those tall bricks that we just put on there. Next up is some of these lift arms, and these are the studless Technic lift arms. You can see it has all the pinholes in it, it just doesn't have any studs to connect any um, typical Lego pieces to it. You have to use Technic parts to connect them all. So that's what we have here. We've got to use these orange Technic pieces, but first, let's see. I'm gonna slide the black pieces on here. It's a little tricky. You have to make sure to not to knock everything over. Then once that is on, you just line up the holes and push that orange Technic piece all the way through. Just like that. We'll do the same over here with this gray one. Come on. There's one and here's two. We take our orange pieces. You have to drop one on the floor says that in the instructions, drop one on the floor, pick it up, 
and now put them both in there. Alright, so you can see that made that whole piece pretty sturdy to where I can lift it up and it's not coming off of the rest of the model. Alright, so on to the next step. Let's see, I'm going to pull all the parts that I need for this step before we start building onto it, just to make sure I have everything I need. This, and we have four of these panels right here. So what we're going to do is start over here put that brick there panel 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 tall brick there another panel here By one round. Are these sand blue bricks that has the bar on it. And another round piece right there. Okay. Next we have a little sub assembly. So we have the sand green color, but we're gonna mix in some of these olive green parts to kind of give it a slightly different weathered look. Add this little sign piece. This is going to get sticker number four. Looks like a wrench on some steel plates of some sort. And this piece will simply attach right there. All right, move my sticker sheet to the side. On to the next set of parts. Let's see, I'm gonna pull them all together again. Starting down here again, we're going to use one of these large sloped bricks. And those sloped bricks are not very common. I do have a, an assortment of them in my parts collection, but they're not, um, like I said, not very common. And obviously I don't have it in the sand green color. I just have it in some other generic standard Lego colors. Okay. This inverted slope goes there. And then I have this wooden crate looking piece. Goes there. All right, next group of parts. with the studs on the side. Attach some palisades on top of it. Let's see, we're gonna rotate the model around. This is going to go right here. This 
stack our round two by twos. This will go right next to it right here. Piece there. good. Let's grab our next set of parts. Alright, we'll start with this little stud with the bar sticking out. Put that on that plate and then this little sloped piece will kind of sandwich it in between there so it's not coming off. That will simply go right here so that bar can kind of rotate a little bit. You can see it has a little bit of movement. We have our next sticker, sticker number 31, which is right here. It's actually three of them. 31, 31, 31. It says Bat Merch. So it looks like a, a box, a cardboard box of merchandise that Batman is probably selling. Once again, I'm recording this video before the movie has come out. They've released all these sets before the movies hit theater, so. You may be watching this way up, well after the movie has been released, so keep in mind that if I make any references to the movie and I'm wrong about them, it is not my intention. It's just that that's the timing of this video. So go easy on me in the comments. I know a lot of people will love to point, point it out when I'm wrong, but... Once again, a lot of panels here. That goes there. Maybe that was sand green, Technic brick. Three, four, five of these. Three olive green. One and one. Okay. So, do some cross supports here. So not only is this gonna connect to both sides of these sand green pieces, it's also gonna connect to this little tower piece that we put in the middle. So it's really going to strengthen up this portion of the build pretty well. That's why, I don't know if you noticed, but we left some gaps on the other side. That's why, so that everything will line up. Okay, got that. that one there. This one here. Brick with studs on the side. Looking good. Okay, so the next step is tall sloped piece there. showing the model turned, but it's all putting everything on this side over here. And we have the 
these two palisades. One goes here and the other one goes in here. Those are kind of like filler bricks. All right, time for another sub assembly. We'll start with this plate. Do a plate on the bottom of the brick. Go there. arched piece goes all the way on the back but these bricks that have the studs on the side those all go there last brick they show in the instructions to be offset by one stud so it's kind of hanging out to the side so we'll bring this guy over let's see actually it goes over here right here on the side simply gonna snap that right there See, it covers all those little studs that we had exposed. All right, next step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these one by six plates. Two, three, four of the one by fours. So where do we begin? Let's begin with this one by four here. One by four, one by four, and then we have this angled, or I mean a, a hinged piece. Two of the one by sixes. We have this large plate that has a little um, hexagon or the 45 degree angle grill piece on it, whatever you call that thing. And continuing on this back side here. Got all those plates going around. Everything looks good. Okay, we have another little sub assembly. And this is creating another little box for the bat merch. Like the way that kind of uses those slopes to make it look like the box is a little bit open. So we're gonna put another one of these bat merch stickers on the side. So that guy will go there. And over here where we had the other bat merch piece, we're going to stick it on top of that jumper and it shows it kind of you know, rotated. You can kind of position it however you want. That's the way it kind of shows it. Up here, we're going to have this little light bar piece. 
And we're gonna take one of these. Looks like a super secret police head. Drop it in the trash can. This trash can will actually go right down there. Per the instructions, I'm sure we'll move it if we want at a later time. Okay, looks good. So let's push this to the side. We have another sub assembly, starting with this plate. sure what we're making but we'll eventually kind of figure it out okay put that down for a second and we have a couple other little pieces to put on here Pieces. Kind of makes a cool texture going down there. And we have a tile. This will get sticker number 20. Looks like a license plate. Attitude. Maybe this is one of his old vehicles that's been destroyed. have a little batarang piece clipped on there. All right, so this piece, so we've got these studs on that wall there, and we're basically gonna attach the bottom side of this right on those studs. Just like that. So that blends in pretty well with the wall. Okay, time for another sub assembly piece. We do have a cool part that hasn't we haven't seen it in a while. Um, it was in, I think some, I think it was called Agents. But it's this um, barbed wire piece. You see it has a little bar area. You can hold, you can put it in a mini for your hand or you can clip it onto a clip or something. But um, it's kind of like a soft rubbery plastic. And a uh, piece we haven't seen in a while. I think you only get two of them in this set though, so it's not like they are flooding the market with a bunch of old parts that we haven't seen in a while. They're still semi-rare. Okay, we have two stickers that are gonna go on these tiles. It's just some metal spike looking decoration. simply clicks in there. That's pretty cool. So the, we have these little cheese slopes right here on the sides. And that's actually what the corner of this brown plate is touching. So you can't fold it down very far. That's as far as it goes. So that creates a little awning type detail right there. All right, so looks like we have one more 
little sub assembly to make before we're done with this bag of parts. Do a white brick, brown brick with a stud, another bracket here. Use the first of these little barbed wire pieces I was just talking about. So you can see it just clips right onto that little clip right there. And guess what we've made? It is a basketball backboard. And this will simply attach right there. So let me show you how that's attaching. Remember that bar that we Put on there that I said it had a little bit of movement. We also have this brick with the stud that has a hole in it. And that hole slides perfectly over that bar. Now we have a barbed wire basketball goal right there on the side of the Apocalypseburg. All right, so that's gonna complete bag number seven. So we did some pretty cool detailing here. We've got a lot of this um, green part started. It's gonna form up the busted up Statue of Liberty. So that's looking really, really cool. Appreciate it as always, you guys watching my videos. If you loved this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the links I have down below for more cool build videos just like this one. And we'll see you in the next one.